welcome to this demo of Active Cruise Control for Euro Truck Simulator 2. So if you're not familiar with Active or Traffic Aware Cruise Control, it's cruise control that brakes and accelerates depending on the traffic around it. So if the road is empty, it will hold speed and if somebody pulls in front or if you approach a car, it will brake and then go back up to that speed once the traffic is clear. The system is just loading and as soon as it does, we'll see its output right there in the bottom corner of our screen. So we're gonna do a lap of the M25 with this active cruise control turned on and we'll see if we have to intervene. Keep right and then continue straight So the way this works is this is a vision-based system using OpenCV and TensorFlow. It uses a machine learning model to identify or detect objects around you. So for example, when a car comes past, it identifies that as a car because the model has been trained on images and videos of cars. So the model for this has actually been trained on images and videos of real cars but it seems to be coping just fine in Euro Keep Truck right. Simulator and as well. Continue straight on. So you can see here, as that car pulled in front, straight on. it recognized that uh, it was a car in front and it was a certain distance away from us. So our car backed off and then accelerated back up to speed once the traffic had disappeared. So the way this knows whether to brake when it sees a vehicle or not is based on two things. It has an area of interest, so although it identifies traffic right. all around us, it's only interested in traffic that is directly in front of us. It also calculates the distance from that traffic in front of us, and if the traffic is less than a certain distance away, um, our car will brake and once the traffic has exceeded that distance again it will pick back up. So as that car pulled in front of us there our car backed off and Keep traffic right. cleared and, and we accelerated again. On. So after this we're going to Go try it out at night as well because a lot of vision based systems tend to perform quite poorly at night in terms of where and how this can be used, it's pretty much only for use on motorways, where there's three lanes of traffic going in the same direction and relatively gentle curves. If you try this on a single carriageway road, so that is one lane of traffic in each direction, it will see the oncoming traffic right. in the other lane and, and it will break on. as it sees the oncoming traffic come round a corner towards you. So it's not really suitable for anything uh, sort of outside of a motorway setting, which again is like most cruise control systems in real life. They're not designed to be used outside of a freeway or motorway. In terms of other edge cases, again, like most active cruise systems in real life, it won't be able to react fast enough to stationary traffic. So if you are approaching stationary traffic at 50, 60 mile an hour, um, it won't be able to identify that traffic quickly enough and it won't be able to stop the car quickly enough. Um, so you're, you're just gonna hit it. So again, as that car came across in front of us, our car saw it and backed off. And then as soon as the traffic was clear and we changed lane, our car has gone back up to 56. So, so far, touch wood, it all seems to be working as it's meant to. If you want to try this yourself, uh, full instructions are in the description below. But I've just briefly covered the basics of it here. We've got to install Python, install TensorFlow, and basically make Python recognize the TensorFlow files. Once you've done that, you literally open up your sim as normal. Um, it's designed for cockpit view at full HD resolution, so you shouldn't really have to faff about changing anything in your sim. When you want to activate the cruise control, set the cruise control in your sim at about 50 mile an hour, then pause the game. 
alt tab out and start the Python script and just head back into the game. You'll know when the active cruise is loaded because your speed will start picking up towards 56. We're coming up to this car with quite a speed difference, so let's see if it breaks. Yep, we're slowing down there, and now that car has cleared away, we're heading back up. So, if you want to end the cruise control, you literally just pause the game, go back into your command prompt, close the Python task, and, and just jump back into your game. So the reason it breaks quite hard there is because while the car in front is close to us, um, our car is going to continue braking. Our car will only sort of re-accelerate after the traffic ahead has, has kind of cleared away a bit. So because we approached that car with quite a speed difference, we were quite close to it for quite a while as we were bleeding off that speed and put that distance between us and that traffic again. Of course, what that means is that by the time the traffic in front is a decent distance away, um, our speed is sort of significantly lower. Just to clear up any confusion right now, guys, this is active cruise control only. Um, it's not auto steer or anything like that, so I'm still steering the car here. There we are, slowing quite nicely as we get close to that car. I'm so, so pleased with how well this works. So yeah, I don't believe there's currently a decent functional auto steer system for Truck Simulator. Um, and if I'm correct, this is the only active cruise system that actually works on Windows. So fun fact, underneath this code is based on the famous Python Plays GTA 5 code. As part of that, there was a section on object detection, identifying vehicles, and how close that vehicle was to you. In Python Plays GTA 5, that information was used to just display a warning and let the player know that they were close to a car. But I've taken it another step and hooked it into direct input. So when the car is too close to another car, direct input will press the brake button and when the traffic clears, it presses the accelerate button, which I've tied to W and S. So the only config changes you really need to make to your sim are playing full HD if you don't already, set secondary keys accelerate and brake to W and S, and I'd also set brake force to min, just so that the braking is not too harsh or dramatic. As we come to the end of our lap of the M25, I think I'm going to use this all the time when I'm driving on motorways in Euro Truck Simulator 2, as it does genuinely make motorway driving as easy as it can be without a full autopilot system. The cruise control, the dumb cruise control that comes with Truck Simulator by default, is a little bit of a pain to work with um, because you have to keep braking and switching it back on. I wish that SCS would build their own active cruise system, but until they do, uh, this seems to do the job. So we're going to come off the motorway here, and I want to see if it will actually kind of slow us down behind this truck and this traffic as we come onto the ramp here. So it is excellent. It brought us down as we came off that ramp, and of course because we were close to the truck, um, braking for quite a long time, our speed got quite low, so I switched the active cruise off as you saw it disappear just there, and we just drive off the ramp as normal. And as if by magic it's night. So let's see as this car comes past, will it work? It's picked up the car, and we are braking and heading back up to 56 once it's passed. It seems to have no difficulty picking up other cars at night, as you can see, it's got that Golf there. And as this minibus comes past, you can see it identifies it as it passes us. However, as it pulled in front, it lost it, so I think perhaps it might have difficulty identifying more complex shapes at night. The other thing you'll notice at night is it might take a little bit longer for the system to activate in the first place because it only activates as soon as it sees a car in its area of interest. And of course at night there's less cars, so it will pick up as soon as it sees a car. And there we are everybody, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out the description below for download links, instructions, that kind of thing. If you have any questions please put them in the comments below, 
and until next time drive safe and always use active cruise control Go straight on.